Starro is a member of a race of beings known as the Star Conquerors. Starro first came to Earth just shortly after the Justice League of America was founded. It had traveled billions of miles through space searching for a planet that was inhabited by intelligent life forms. Starro resembles a giant starfish. Its main ability is that it can control minds. It possesses superhuman strength, can fly, shoot powerful blasts from its tentacles, and has invulnerability. Starro can produce miniature Starros that latch onto the face of the host and control their minds. Starro has also shown the ability to convert the starfish of Earth into duplicates of itself. Lastly, it possesses the ability to regenerate itself as long as a fragment of its original body survives. When Starro first arrived on Earth, it transformed three starfish into duplicates of itself. The three were sent to different areas on different missions. Aquaman was informed of the plan by another aquatic creature and informed the Justice League. Green Lantern defeated one clone. Wonder Woman and the Martian Manhunter, a second. The Flash defeated the third. The Flash also discovered that Starro had a weakness to Garden Lime, so they covered Starro in Garden Lime, killing it. But Starro had thought ahead, and in case it was defeated, it had left a portion of one of its tentacles in the ocean so it could regenerate. Starro again encountered the Justice League of America after it had regenerated itself and created an enormous amount of miniature Starros that attached to the citizens of New York. Starro was also able to control a portion of the Justice League. This time it was defeated due to its weakness against extreme cold. Starro later reappeared in Europe. He took control of thousands of people in Western Europe, including some members of the Justice League Europe. Starro was defeated when the Justice League Europe reviewed the Justice League files and discovered its weakness to extreme cold and they froze it. Starro has popped up at times throughout the DC Universe. It has had conflict with the Teen Titans. It was also a member of Sinestro's Yellow Lantern Corps. In a DC Marvel crossover, the Justice League of America and the Avengers battled Starro in one of Grandmaster's contests. In Injustice 2, Starro appeared as a member of the Red Lantern Corps. Now what's crazy is the Justice League America kept a small sample of one of the Starro clones to study after they defeated Starro. It was placed in a jar and with its regenerative powers regrew. They named it Jaro. It was close to Batman and it even called him Dad. Jaro even had dreams of becoming Robin. Over time, as comics tend to do, Starro's origin and appearance have been altered. Starro is now a humanoid with the mother Starro on its chest. So what do you think of Starro? I can't wait to see him in the Suicide Squad movie. How about you? As always, I appreciate you.